Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update video on my last video since you guys have been asking me on how to downgrade your guys' iDevice running iOS 9.3.5 to iOS 6.1.3 but with Windows. And this is what the tutorial is going to bring you. So with that being said, let's get straight into this tutorial. Alright, so actually before I start my tutorial, go ahead and let's try to get up to 15 likes on this video. It's pretty easy just go ahead and click on that like button down below thank you guys so much for all the support for the last couple videos you guys have been absolutely killing it with the views as well as the likes and I really do appreciate it don't forget to also comment something down below that is jailbreak related for a chance to get pinned alright so first off just like my last video I do have to tell you guys that this is only working for the iPhone 4s as well as the iPad 2 as of right now hopefully the developers will make a downgrade tool for other devices as well to be able to go back to iOS 6 and iOS 8 as well so the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the links that are inside of the description and you guys will go ahead and want to download the iOS 6.1.3 iOS versions which are available for your device, Cydia Impactor in order for you to jailbreak your iDevice as well as the Phoenix Jailbreak which you guys will be needing in order to have this whole entire process get started as well as the application called Behind which is on the GitHub page as well as your iDevice. Now I do recommend you guys just going ahead and restarting your whole entire iDevice so just go ahead and plug it into iTunes and then restore the iDevice so it's a nice clean device so from here I want to actually show you guys one thing regarding the behind download okay so you guys will be brought to this page right here now you guys want to click on the last link that is right here which is behind beta 5 or version 0.5 right here just click on it and then view raw and then it'll actually download right away a zip file so from there I recommend you guys just putting this all on your desktop like I have so I have impactor the Phoenix jailbreak behind and then behind which is unzipped as well as the iOS 6.1.3 IPSW. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and jailbreak your iDevice with Impactor and the Phoenix Jailbreak. So on Windows, if you guys have not yet done so, go ahead and just go through the whole entire jailbreak process. And if you guys do have trouble, go ahead and click on this link that'll be on the top right hand side. And you guys will be redirected into a tutorial from what I made and how to jailbreak your guys' iDevice running iOS 9.3.5. I'm going to go ahead and just skip this whole entire part of jailbreaking as it might take a little while so just go ahead and jailbreak your iDevice then the first thing you guys want to install once you guys have Cydia on that iDevice is open SSH and then from there we'll go ahead and begin the next step so I just restored my iDevice and I'm gonna go ahead and just jailbreak it right now and then I will show you guys what to do after you guys jailbreak and install open SSH via Cydia okay so once you guys jailbreak and install open SSH on your guys' iDevice the first thing you gotta want to do on your iDevice is to find your IP address so we'll just go into set settings and then go into Wi-Fi and then choose whichever Wi-Fi network you guys are attached to and then click on the little I which is on the right hand side right here and then just jot down the IP address on there and then we will use that in the later point of the video alright so the next thing you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and unzip the behind file that I told you guys to download in the previous part of the video then just open up the folder and you guys will see the application just go ahead and right click run as administrator and then press yes so there was a little glitch right there on the recording and we're gonna go ahead and wait for the whole entire interface to pop up alright so you guys might get this warning just go ahead and press ok if you guys want to read it go ahead and do so so here it is the GUI of the whole entire behind application so from here what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and press choose right here where it says path right underneath that and then you guys want to go ahead and select the iOS 6.1.3 IPSW that you guys downloaded in the beginning of the video go ahead and press open and then wait for it to load up now it's gonna say that you are lucky because I have the iPhone 4s and if you guys have the iPad 2 then you guys can actually make an untethered downgrade via over the air so go ahead and just press yes right here and then ECID will pop up now it will say new device has been found go ahead and click right here to get the ECID now just wait a couple seconds and then it'll go ahead and find the ECID and then use it in this tutorial so go ahead and press yes and then just wait for it a couple seconds and then it should load up perfectly fine now 
from here you guys want to go ahead and click on jailbreak which is right there and then install Cydia so you guys can actually jailbreak the iDevice in one shot so go ahead and press OK right there and then right here build IPSW should be highlighted and clickable go ahead and click on build IPSW now we're gonna go ahead and just wait for this whole entire process because I've done this in the past and it takes about five to ten minutes so I'm just gonna wait right here and then I'm just gonna speed up this part of the video so you guys will see everything done in one motion all right so we just finished now it does say that we need to enter pwn dfu mode in order to restore the i device all the way back to ios 6.1.3 so from here just go ahead and press ok and then click ok again now from here you guys will notice that on your desktop you do have a new folder right here and if you guys open it up it does have the custom made ipsw for ios 6.1.3 as well as an img3 file as well as a plist file now in the future if you guys do need the img3 file it will be in this folder on your desktop which it is default restored so if you guys want to move it anywhere you guys want just go ahead and save it into another location that you guys will remember so from here as you guys can see it'll say choose custom IBSS now if you guys are not in this screen go ahead and click on select mode up here then go on K loader mode which will put your device into Pwn DFU mode so from here it'll automatically have the IMG3 file already inputted but if you guys have not yet selected that or in the future if you guys forget how to do this just go ahead and click on this three dots right here then locate that img3 file that was on the desktop now from here go ahead and click on enter pwn dfu mode but before that we're gonna go ahead and enter your guys devices ip address that we found in the previous part of this video so go ahead and enter it in this text field so once you guys have your IP address in there, go ahead and click on enter pwned DFU mode and then it might take about three minutes or so and then your device will go ahead and restart and it'll go on a black screen. Now we're going to go ahead and wait until we see an error message and then I will see you guys from there. Okay guys, so from here you guys will get this error. Just go ahead and unplug your guys' iDevice and then replug it back in. Then just wait a couple seconds. iTunes might appear, so there you guys go. Like I said, now it's gonna go ahead and detect it in recovery mode. Just go ahead and press the X button and then go ahead and press OK on K loader. Now from here, go ahead and press OK and then press restore if you guys get this screen right here. Now it will detect the new iOS 6.1.3 update that we just made and then go ahead and click on restore. So from here, command prompt will open up and you guys will see something similar from my last video but in terminal and I'll have the exact same format or around the same type of coding that you guys see right now on your screen and then it'll go ahead and go into the restore process and it will inject iOS 6.1.3 on the iDevice instead. So we're gonna go ahead and wait. Now another thing that I did notice was using behind you actually do see that you have an actual B logo on the iDevice instead of the Apple logo. So from here as you guys can see I did have a little error go ahead and press continue and then it should start loading up perfectly fine all right guys so we just finished in the GUI just actually went back into the screen right before we went through the whole entire restore process so from here you guys are pretty much done we're gonna go ahead and close that and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I am seeing right now on my screen so from here as you guys can see the iOS 6 Apple logo is displaying right now let me go ahead and try to zoom in as much as I can as you guys can see there's that little line right there showing the iOS 6 Apple logo instead of the iOS 7 so from here it went ahead and just finished up the process of starting up now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this process really quickly and I'll see you guys once I'm done alright guys so there guys go there is iOS 6.1.3 running on my iPhone 4s now if you guys want a little bit of proof let me go ahead and go into settings general oops and let me go into about and you guys can see it is running on iOS 6.1.3 so there you guys go guys that's pretty much it and if you swipe over to the right you guys can see that Cydia is also on your iDevice as well and it launches up perfectly fine it might take a couple times but it works fine for the first time for me launching it up so from there you guys are practically jailbroken on iOS 6.1.3 and downgraded back and if you guys have an iPhone 4s or an iPad 2 you guys are jailbreakable for life 
So with that being said guys, if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as a ton more videos just like this in the future as long as developers keep making and releasing a lot of these tools for users to use. Also don't forget to follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on the jailbreak world. Don't forget to also snapshot this outro if you guys are on mobile and then add me on Snapchat as well to get some behind the scenes regarding next jailbreak breaks as well as tutorials and videos that I am doing. That's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys liked it. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.